This is lecture on business policy and strategy of course BBA banking and insurance course code is 306 and this is last unit of the subject. The last unit is about strategic implementation and implementation covers three things organization structure, leadership and organization culture. We will co first cover organization structure. Organized, organization structure is all about delegation and authority, chain, and co chain of command, span of control, which is given to the workers at various levels. In order to implement any strategy, it is very important that structure follows strategy or strategy follows structure. Strategy following structure means that first the strategy is made and then accordingly the structural changes is made in the organization or the management sees whether the structure is already existing and accordingly the strategy is made. The main things that is uh, to be focused upon while implementing any strategy is changes in corporate strategy leads to changes in organizational structure. No strategy, new strategy is created new administrative problems are emerge, economic performances decline, new appropriate structure is invented and profit returns to its previous levels. So implementation of structured, structural changes is very much important to for the success of the any strategy. According to that there are four stages of strategy implementation according to organization structure that is stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. Stage 1 is very simple uh, simple structure or entrepreneurial structure. Stage 2 is functional structure. Stage 3 is divisional structure and stage 4 is beyond SBUs. SBUs is strategic business units. Badu. Stage 1 is simple structure or entrepreneurial structure. In entrepreneurial structure as we know the organization structure is very simple. Everything is under the control of one person. Decision ma making is tightly controlled. There is a, fo a little formal structure. Planning is short range and reactive and flexible and dynamic system of working is there. Stage 2 is functional structure. That is the organizational structure has a management team. There is functional specialization. Delegation of decision making is there and concentration or specialization of industry is there. Stage 2 is divisional structure, that is diverse product lines are there, therefore it is having decentralized decision making and unlimited resources and the, it is SBU level of strategic uh, organization structure, that is strategic business units are working. And then we go on to stage 4, that is beyond SBUs, that is a new developed organization, organization structure which is according to the new uh, global corporate cult working. There is network structure and matrix structure where there is increased environmental uncertainty, technological advances, size and sh uh, scope of worldwide business, multi-industry competitive strategy and better educated personals. So accordingly, as we implement different types of strategy, we will have to implement different type of or go along with different type of organizational structure. Next important strategic implementation is effective leadership. That is effective implementation also requires very effective leadership. Leading people is to use their abilities and skill most efficiently and if, uh, effectively to achieve organizational objectives. In order to implement any strategy very much effectively and efficiently, there are four types of leadership skills which are needed by the leaders that first is technocracy technocracy means use of management techniques in all the systems and processes risk taking risk taking is about innovation and creativity and being a market leader unless and until you take uh, you do not take risk you won't be able to be a market leader Third is organicity, that is how much formal and systematic your way of working is, how much organized your way of working is. Fourth is participation. Now participation is the main, 
basic thing in order to make a strategy successful leadership should always make people participate in whatever strategy they are implementing participation in decision making participation in management suggestions management by objectives should be should be the main uh, basic idea behind participation and last one is coercion that is if the employees or the low level um, uh, people are not ready to accept the change not ready to take risk the man the leader also has to use coercion or that is they have to make do it by force that is very very much important so leadership skills like we have we can take an example of ratan tata we can take an example of ambani's we can take an example of azim premzi who, who all of these whom have different types of leadership uh, skills and they are very much successful organizations and the last important strategic implementation parameter is organizational culture managing corporate culture now corporate first we will understand what is corporate culture or organizational culture organizational culture is the collection of values and norms by people and groups in the organization it is shared values and common culture increase the integration and improve coordination beliefs and ideas about common goals and proper behavior and norms that acts as guidelines or expectation that prescribe acceptable behavior by organizational members so organic culture is basically how the things are done in any organization the important part to implement any strategy is whether the organization culture is there to take the risk to accept the changes not to resist the change and whether the employees are ready to Uh, go with the whatever changes is happening in the organization and ready to take risk ready to innovate ready to be creative and ready to have that behavior and norms and values in the organization culture it is all the three ways of identifying organization culture is how the decisions are made methods and style of communication and how cost how customers are treated are treated so these three important uh, baselines of having organizational culture which will definitely have a better impact eff- effective implementation of strategy and success of the strategy so these three are the main focus areas of success of any strategy that is leadership skills organizational culture and organizational structure according to the strategy that we are implementing thank you